Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And in this week's short episode, we're going to talk to you about showering in your RV. Now, if you're anything like us, when we're boondocking, our biggest limiters are the amount of fresh water that we have on board and our grade tank's capacity. And one of the biggest contributors to using fresh water and filling the grade tank is taking a shower. No matter how careful we are, we still go through two, three, even four gallons of water in the course of taking a shower, even with a Navy shower. However, this week we're going to show you a nifty little device that will allow you to take a shower with less than one gallon of water. So stay tuned. When we were down at Quartzsite, we met Jonathan, who's the founder and CEO of a company called Geyser Systems that makes what they call the Eco Shower. Let's introduce you to this device. So let's take a look at what comes in the box from Geyser Systems. On top is an information card with a QR code that you can use to head online and get more information on how to use this product. This is a packet of three cleaning sponges. So if you're a family of three, you each get your own and you can easily change them between uh, one person's use and another person's use. Or if you're a solo traveler, you have a couple of spares for when your initial sponge wears out a little further down the road. This is the heart of the system. Uh, this little fitting is going to replace your telephone shower head. Now this is what they call a half kit. If you have an RV shower that doesn't have a telephone handset, instead it's a shower head that mounts to the wall, you get what they call the full kit. And that mounts in between your shower head and the, and the plumbing. Uh, so that way you can use either this or the existing shower head. Right on here is a little lever you can use to control the amount of water flow through the sponge. We'll get this installed in a moment and show you just how simple that is. There's a storage bag here for when you want to remove the system when it's not in use. They give you an adhesive hook that you can hang inside your shower to hold your sponge when it's not in use. And there's an extra hose washer supplied. Finally, there's a card in here that tells you about the importance they place on water conservation and how the Geyser System Shower will contribute to water conservation. Let's get this thing installed and take a look at how simple that is. We're going to take our existing telephone shower head and no tools are required. You simply unscrew the shower head from the distribution hose. Put that down for a moment and we're going to replace it. We're going to make sure, by the way, that that hose washer is in there. We're going to replace it with the shower unit from Geyser Systems. And again, just hand screw it on. It's that simple. Now let's show you how the sponge works. These sponges come from the factory dry and compressed. So it's recommended that you first wet the sponge before attempting to insert the shower assembly into the sponge. It makes the whole process a lot easier. We're going to open that hole in the bottom of the sponge. And you can see the stitching on here. You can see the how it's a little bit wider here in the middle. That's designed to accept the wings from the shower assembly. So I'm going to reach down after dropping that. <laughs> And we're simply going to insert that in the hole. We're going to pinch these wings so we can push it up into the hole. We're going to keep this string out because that's going to come in handy later. And we're going to insert that into the sponge so that those wings get right up to that wide part. There we go. I can feel the wings that are in this wide part right here. Let me go a little bit further. There, that's all. I can feel the wings right here at the widest part of the stitching. And I can feel the tip right up here. Ready to go. So now when we turn on the water at the handle, 
you'll see that this water actually comes right out through the sponge. You can also adjust the water level right here at this little lever. You can put it anywhere between off and full for precisely the amount of water you want to use. Now you can use any kind of soap with this. In our experience, liquid soap works best. You just put it right here on the sponge and that way you can use it to give yourself a nice clean shower. Or you can of course use a bar of soap, a regular hard bar of soap, if you wanted to actually rub it here into the sponge. Now in addition to that, if you're into essential oils, you can also use those with this sponge. Swapping out sponges, whether it's because your sponge is worn out or it's because somebody else is going to use the shower, that's super simple as well. What we're going to do is just simply pull on this little cord and that will compress the wings so that way they slip right out of the sponge. You can see here, if I hold this, by pulling on this little cord, it just bends the wings so that way they slip through the hole of the sponge. Put another sponge on and you're ready to go. Want to go back to a regular shower? That's super simple as well. Simply unscrew the Eco Shower and screw your regular shower head back onto the hose. And that's ready to go now too. So that's really all there is to this little guy. It's such a simple solution, but an ingenious little invention from Jonathan over at Geyser Systems. This is the half kit if you already have a telephone shower in your RV. It costs $49.99 for everything that I've shown you in this video. If you need the full kit because you have a fixed shower head in your RV, that goes for $79.99. If you would like to learn more, we'll put a link right down below in the video's description so that way you can go check it out for yourself. If you like this episode, if you found the information here useful, it's extremely important to us that you give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, that's where you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you after every grand adventure, which we premiere every Wednesday evening. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But if you're not yet a grand adventurer yourself, now is the perfect time for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure. So until next Wednesday, please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then. We're take our existing telephone shower head and simply unscrew this fitting. Uh, no tools are required. What?